hello everyone welcome to automoto in this video we are going to talk about scavenging so at the end of expansion stroke a two stroke engine is left full of combustion products because there is no exhaust stroke available to clear the cylinder of burnt gases this is to be done in very short duration which is available at the end of expansion stroke and when charging process begin also overall efficiency of a two stroke engine depends on scavenging process with insufficient scavenging the amount of oxygen available is low which results in higher fuel consumption a poor scavenging results also in contaminated lubricating oil which wear cylinder liner and piston and higher temperature and stress on cylinder walls now scavenging process is the replacement of products of combustion in cylinder from the previous power stroke with fresh air charge to be burned in the next cycle now there are four distinct periods in scavenging process so the first is pre blow down when the inlet ports open the gases expanding in the main cylinder tend to escape from it and to pre discharge into the scavenging air manifold and this process is called pre blow down as soon as exhaust port opens the gases existing in the cylinder at the end of expansion stroke discharge spontaneously into exhaust manifold and the pressure of the main cylinder drops to the value lower than that existing in the scavenge air manifold now this process is called blow down so the blow down terminates at the moment the gas pressure inside the cylinder attains the value slightly lower than the air pressure inside the scavenging air manifold now during the third phase called scavenging which starts at the moment the spontaneous exhaust gas from the cylinder terminates and ends at the moment the exhaust ports are closed the scavenge air sweeps out all the residual gas remaining in the cylinder and replaces them with fresh charge after scavenging is completed the fresh charge continues to flow till the scavenge ports are open mm -hmm. and the pressure in the cylinder rises mm -hmm. now this results in better filling of the cylinder this part of the scavenging process is called additional charging now there are three theories about scavenging the first is perfect scavenging which implies that the fresh air fuel mixture should remain separated from the residual combustion products with respect to both mass and heat so as long as any product remain in the cylinder the flow through the exhaust valve consists of product only so there should not be mixing of air and products now second theory is about perfect mixing in perfect mixing incoming fresh charge mixes completely with the the cylinder contents and the cylinder products that is formed after the combustion and a portion of this mixture passes out of the exhaust port at a rate at equal rate that is uh, entering in the cylinder now this uh, mixture consists initially of products of combustion and gradually changes into pure air now third type of scavenging is short circuiting 
the third type of scavenging process is in which the fresh charge coming from the scavenge air manifold goes directly through the exhaust ports without removing any uh, combustion products now this is also known as dead loss and its occurrence must be avoided let's have a look at scavenging systems so the first scavenging system is uniflow scavenging system in the uniflow scavenging system the air enters the cylinder from one end and leaves it from the other end now now air acts like a piston and push the residual gases in the cylinder now it is easier in a uniflow scavenging system to push the products of combustion out of the cylinder without mixing with it and short circuiting now the uniflow scavenging system has highest scavenging efficiency but its construction is little bit complicated because this system requires opposite pistons or poppet valves or sleeve wall which increases the design complications of this system now second type is cross scavenging the cross scavenging system implies inlet and exhaust ports which is placed opposite sides of a cylinder wall the air moves up to combustion chamber on one side of the cylinder and then down on the other side to flow out of the exhaust ports now the scavenging air is uh, suitably guided with a deflector which is formed on the piston or by inclined ports now this arrangement makes the engine uh, simple and due to absence of valves distributors and relative uh, drive devices the inlet and exhaust of gases is exclusively controlled by the opening and closure of ports by piston motion but there is a disadvantage of this system by which some of the residual gases which which are located at the wall of the cylinder are not scavenged so this results in poor scavenging also there is some fresh charge which goes directly to the exhaust port which makes it poor scavenging system now the third type of scavenging is reverse scavenging in reverse scavenging the inlet and exhaust ports are placed on the same side of the cylinder walls which avoids short circuiting and improves the scavenging efficiency the inlet ports are placed on both sides of the exhaust ports so that the incoming air enters in two stream uniting on the cylinder wall opposite to the exhaust port which flows upwards turns under the cylinder head and then flows downwards the other side of the exhaust port such a system of air deflection reduces the possibilities of short circuiting to minimum the charging process is controlled by piston only and the speed of loop or a reversed sca uh, scavenge engine is not restricted by mechanical limitation 
because valves are not used. Now in two stroke engine a piston cannot carry the pumping action. An additional pump is required to supply scavenging air to the cylinder called scavenging pump. Now crankcase scavenging is most cheapest pumping system but very uneconomical. It compresses incoming air and then transfer to the cylinder. The delivery ratio of this system is very less by which combustion products are retained in the cylinder. The output of engine is limited because the amount of charge transferred through the transfer port is only 40 to 50 percent of the cylinder volume. Also, another disadvantage of this system is that the oil vapors from the crankcase mixes with the scavenging air, which results in high oil consumption. Due to these two disadvantages, the crankcase scavenging is not preferred and for high output two stroke engines a scavenging pump is required now root blowers and centrifugal blowers or superchargers like devices are used as additional scavenging pump for two stroke engines